Now, cutting edge science is something that this region does very well, and in some areas, we even lead the world. One of them is the science of plants, especially around Cambridge and Norwich. And today, we've been given exclusive access to a major new laboratory, which has cost £82 million. Lots of light, a courtyard rooting it into the ground. Architecture providing the right conditions for research, it said, mirroring the needs of the plants they study. Biofuel, food, big global issues will be researched here by around 150 scientists. Among them, Ottoline Liza. Okay, so this is Arabidopsis. It's kind of the plant equivalent of a lab rat. By researching plants' genes, they're studying how they grow. So a branching is a really important characteristic in plants because uh, the number of branches you have uh, determines how many flowers you make and therefore how many seeds you make. So there's an awful lot of interest in it across agriculture and horticulture. The Sainsbury Laboratory cost £82 million to build. Its facilities cutting edge. Its first director says this part of the world now leads the rest in plant research. The Sainsbury Laboratory will be an internationally important laboratory at the fundamental end of plant research, trying to understand how it is the genes lead to plant growth and plant form along with the Department of Plant Sciences at the University of Cambridge. Uh, that makes the University of Cambridge a central focus for fundamental plant biology. Adding in the John Innes Institute, the Sainsbury Laboratory at Norwich, Rothamsted Research and NIAB here in Cambridge gives the east of England the most powerful set of plant laboratories in the world, ranging from the most fundamental research all the way to field trials of local varieties of wheat. This was four months ago when Her Majesty the Queen formally opened the facility. The labs now settling into their surroundings. What they hope to grow here is knowledge. Mike Cartwright, BBC Look East, Cambridge.